Hey guys, it's Dr. Curvy here and we're back with another video. And today's video is just skin related stuff reaction wise. So there's no intro, uh, no background music. I just want to get this posted ASAP. Um, because tomorrow I'll post um, patch 4.C Wild Drift review video about buffs and nerfs. So I'm posting this early so that there's some space. I don't want to spam too much videos. So yeah, with that being said, let's get on with this video. We have two games of skins to react. We have Legends of Runeterra and we have League. Uh, League has a new skin line, as you can see here, called La Illusion, which has Renata, Ziggs, Kiana, Draven, Italy, and Nar. Now, Renata is the prestige, just saying. And then we also have the Coven skin line, the Eclipse skin line, the Solar Lunar Eclipse skin line, and Lore. So let's react to Lore first, starting off with Mother, Queen, Coven, Janna. Now, she looks like a Honkai Star Rail boss, mini boss, where you get the materials from the stagnant shadows, right? I mean, look at her. The thing I like about this splash art, we're just talking about the splash art because Lord doesn't have animations, except her level ups. Um, you can see her staff is has like a silvery golden tone to it with the red gem spewing from, you know, the staff. I'm guessing this is wood. I don't think it is. Never mind. It's some sort of like copper looking that look, kind of looks gold. Doubt it. And then you can see her back tattoos, back tattoos. Girl, she is giving that back tattoo a run for her money. Um, and also her blindfold is not really like fabric. It's feathers. And it kind of looks like um, a headband. But considering her hair is so huge and she already has a headband, they kind of just simply placed it in her eye. Um, her ears are pretty much the same. Um, that lip color. Every coven skin girly has a lip color like that. Um, you know, maybe minus Lissandra. The dress looks great. It's not over the top because it's her level one. Um, you can also see Volley Bear in the background staring at us. But when you go to her level two, now she's giving legendary skin status over here. Now, I don't know what thematic is she be going to be in the coven skin line. Because each coven character has some type of animal representing them. I think Evelyn is more of like a snake, like a reptile, you know, like because of her lashers. Um, I think she represents uh, a raven, Janna, unless someone already represents that, maybe Morgana, but I, mean, I could be wrong. If you guys know what animal she's representing Janna from your guesses, because they never really mentioned her lore, uh, her lore uh, leave a comment down below about it. I've seen concept art of Coven Syndra as a swan from fans, fan arts. So that's cool. But in Janna's case, I don't think she's more of a swan. It has to relate to her Zephyr, which is her bird. So it could be some bird, you know. But her legs, though, she has hooves a la... Um, this, this look is giving Lilia and Soraka moment. So weird. Um, let's see her level up animation. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. She, there's no audio because it's not. It's PBE. That's the voice. But isn't that cool? You know, you know people are going to get that on day one, right? With the bundle. Okay, so now let's move on to Volley Bear. This is a well-known skin, Thousand Pierce Volley Bear. It's very standard. Nothing really changed from his design. Um, the only thing you can see is Nile over here. You know... And then his level 2 form is this. This is a very scary skin line because of the eyes. You know, witchcraft. Or, and I think this is officially canon Volibear. Because they men Rise, mentions, Rise mentions him in some voice line or something. And then this is the level of animation. I think he's fighting Nyla from that, that. She's going to have a hard time, but then again, a Nyla can beat a Wally Bear in League, so. <laughs> just saying. Okay, so we move on to Aatrox. Now, Aatrox is just a standard skin, so we're just going to see some basics. Um, it's just, not going to lie, not to be mean, Aatrox is just, Lunar Eclipse Aatrox is just him but blue. Sure, there's some different thematic designs, but overall, it's a basic thing. Um, it's cute, though, but I think some maybe sometimes a chroma in League PC could change that. There's no chromas here, though. 
Um, the mask looks like Mordekaiser, and the horns as well. Yeah, it's very standard. I mean, he looks great, but it's just standard for me. And I wanted more from Aatrox. This, and I know that Lunar Eclipse skin line is very armor based. You know, like it's, it is what it is, girly pop. Same with Nyla. It's just kind of like her regular outfit with a little bit more oomph to it. Because look at the same uh, top, you know, just designed more eclipsy and stuff. And her hair didn't change. It still has that same uh, connecting hair mechanic, jump rope. Um, she kind of looks like Karma from this angle. She kind of looks like Stargazer Ascended Karma from this angle. If her top was also sleeveless on the other side, reflect uh, matching the other side. So, yeah. She looks the same though, like her face card is the same. Okay, let's see. She looks very derpy here when I first saw this. Maybe because she has like an angle. It looks like her obviously, but the way she's angling her face, like, you know. Also, when you zoom in, you, you kind of see her having short hair and ignoring this part. Weird. And she's fighting Volibear alone. Also, the perspectivism is off. You know, she should have... They should have shown more perspective of her fighting Volibear, considering that's the point of view, based on Volibear's splash art. Woo! Okay. Now, Sejuani. I actually prefer her uh, PC splash arts. I mean, you can see how good this is. She kind of looks like Leona. Duh. Uh, but I love the pet. Every time Sejuani has a skin, the pet is the way. I mean, look at it. It's, giving, it's a giving a bird bear from Owlbear from Baldur's Gate. You know, never played it. And then here's them charging. Sejuani has that dark lipstick again. Kind of like Janna. I love that lip color because of <laughs> the skin line. Um, Mother, she has a new wig. Look at that wig. She, it, this is some lesbian-esque story. Look how sad Leona is, uh, Diana is here. And look how Leona's just like not bothering her feelings. Because I think she was defeated or captured. And then she left Leona and she's just there. Mother. The one thing, the one gripe I have about this splash art is the eye. What's with her eye? This, I know she's looking a lot to the left, but look how thick this is. Like, this length. Why can't they match that length here, here? So that it looks more, it looks off to me from a distance. Isn't that just me? It looks so off. But I love the post. She's giving Celeste from Vainglory. If you know, you know. You know, Vainglory. Like her uh, spaceship skin. You know, All the mobile fans who, who will know that. All the mobile players. Okay, let's look at Diana, which is basically base Diana. Though the skin is so not necessary, but it fits the story. Because Diana... Look, she's fighting... That's Leona. Because look at the hair. That's her hair. And that's her crown. That's Leona. She's fighting her. She defeated uh, Leona. You can see how she looks like um like a painting of like those Michelangelo paintings of like crying. You know those paintings. It's she has that face and she defeated Leona in this splash art. Um, she looks so upset, and her armor looks. She looks like Cecil from Final Fantasy or Kane from Final Fantasy IV with that dark dragon knight outfit. It's not weird. The makeup though. The makeup is meh on her. <clears throat> And then now she's, you know, she's being bowed down by the Solari because she's taken over. <clears throat> it's just, it's so different compared to Leona's um, point of view. Anyways, let's go on to Senna. Who is again basic like Aatrox. I am so sorry. Ugh, it's it's kind of like Dawnbringer, Nightbringer. Sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. You know, I mean, I don't own this skin on PC. So I couldn't be a judge of it on the model, you know? I mean, this pose is great. I think she's fighting Kale here. Yeah, it's Kale has wings, you know? So Senna's a busy girl. Busy girl. And then we get some card backs. Some of them you can grind from the past. There's an event pass coming uh, on the day <clears throat> of the update. So there's that. We got some emotes. Channel looking confused. Nyla just popping off. And then Aatrox just slamming the keyboard i mean this is a accurate meme it looks like those like p the things that streamers use it's very accurate i think that's that's about that you know the the, the dedication and then the last uh image we have is kale 
I think this is her level one because her face is covered. And you can see so many like design elements here that just screams. Like it's such a good skin. This should have been a legendary skin in PC. I gifted a friend this skin for his birthday because he loves it so much and he was happy. And I'm like, you're welcome. And I'm not a gifter, so. And then this is her level two. She's more transformed. You can see from her chest piece in level one. It looks a little off. Look at that drip. You know? And then she's fully formed over here. The drip is no longer gone. I mean, the drip is gone. And look at that. The design is just... And then I think she's doing her ultimate. Boom. You know? Okay. Is that it for lore? Okay, that's it for lore. Oh, we have one more. Sun Eater Aurelian Soul. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I don't think Riot can pull this off on PC League. Because it looks very tough. Concept-wise, um, thematic-wise, it looks a lot. It's so pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks so pretty, though, especially the highlight is that ring around his head. Giving serpent, right? Serpent tease. And I love the coloring again. It's giving um, prestige skin because of the white and the kind of darker purple and the gold <coughs> trimmings. Isn't that a sleigh? Okay, so we are 10 minutes in. So now let's talk about the splash arts of the uh, La Illusion skins and their lore. So we got Miss Queen over here. Let's read her lore first. Uh, La Illusion Kiana. Kiana was a prodigiously self-centered athlete. But after dying, dying during a championship match without warning, her family's love-stricken grief transformed her into an idola vida, still ashamed of her failure. Kiana realizes her family never cared about what she did, only who she was. Filled with their love, she's ready to watch over them until the end. So she became this because, you know, I don't know how um, this, I don't know the history of uh, the Dias de los Muertos, which is the Day of the Dead. Um, so anyone can educate me on that, that'd be great. But I've never, uh, I've seen concept movies about focusing on the thematics of you know the day of the dead like coco never seen it but i'm aware of it and you can tell that some uh kiana splash art is very emphasis on that she kind of looks like pele from smite if you know you know you can see the flower emphasis everyone has a flower emphasis because you see that a lot in the flowers also light and um hispanic hispanic influences on the outfit this one is giving flamenco dancer we'll see the model later in the skin spotlight but you can see how it blends in so well here so yeah we're not gonna dive in too deep here because i think i spent a lot of time here so let's do la Elise and renata in a life filled with forced relationships death freed renata to form the family she has always wanted as the enterprise family's founder the bond between members doesn't come from any sense of familial warmth but honest calculation as for her work, Renata looks at society and pulls whatever deadly strings she needs to make things more efficient. So I don't know if she's a villain in this. Doubt it. Because she wants what's best for her family. She's the founder of... I don't know. I think she's the founder of this Idola. I could be confused. Um, her, her splash art doesn't really do her justice from her entire outfit. I love this though. This perfume. And her headband that looks like has a veil on the back her hair is kind of similar to her base but just more like volumized you know and i love the glass arm you know giving that neatness okay let's move on to um her uh the prestige look at that you are the winner of this week's challenge very emerald focus no she looks very human human like here i think this was before she passed because look that skin tone girl She's so different. Let's read the lore. Prestige La Illusion Renata Glask. From fashion model to Maven. Renata owns one of the largest fashion houses at the gala after all this time. Enough critics have declared her dead after a poor show that she wears the label proudly. Invigorating the spirit of her company and makeshift family in the end, only she could prove the threads of life and death. On the runway, at least. She So she died, and now she's in charge of the runway in life and death. I mean, this, I mean, look at the splash art. It's giving. Come on. Come on now. Look at that perfume bottle. It's giving, you know, again, the crystal look. 
Uh, at least the crystal look is less here in her outfit. We're probably going to see this crystal look more in the abilities. Hopefully Skin Spotlights has posted it by then. So Let's talk about Draven. La Ilusión Draven. Draven has always dreamed of going out in the blaze of glory during his Daredevil act. But when he got his wish, nobody was around to savor it. Only slightly, uh, only slightly humbler as an idola muerte, Draven found his kin within the ego and family. Within the ego family and spent his time spotting other glory hounds among the living, using his manipulative ardor powers to send them off in style. That is sad. You know, like when you, you know, when you throw a basketball hoop and no, uh, you hit it and no one sees it, and then when you do it, you get accidentally hit. That's the feeling. That's how Draven's lore feels like to me. Ay, it's so depressing. Okay, that's Nidalee. Oh, good. Nidalee has a new skin. Congratulations. <laughs> La Ilusión Nidalee, a jaguar leader of her own pack, Nidalee was both feared and respected by her neighboring humans. When she fell to a group of hunters for protecting her family, the, sh the shared love not just from her pack but from her neighbors re reincarnated Nidalee. Oh, she had a reincarnation here. Very Bible. As an idola vida, with the power to assume both jaguar and human form, now she watches over her kid from afar. Okay, so I guess this is her model. Okay, come on, technology. We need a new Nidalee update. Okay. What else? No, is this Nar? Aww, baby. Little baby. Little baby. Cute baby. La Ilusión Nar. Abandoned the streets. Nar spent years scraping by, uh, snarling at his misfortune. Until he was found by a gentle orphan girl, what started as simple gifts of food blossomed into a loving friendship, only for Nar to suddenly fall ill and pass. Oh my god. Because of their family love, Nar now returns as an idola vida, ready to protect his family from danger. Ouch. Why is it all sad? I mean, look how cute the baby is. He's giving Coco on the splash art. I actually don't know the mix of colors they're using here. Like I said, we're going to see it better through the model. I wonder, girl, the chromas are going to be so good. Chroma City. Okay. Who is this? Ziggs. Ziggs, ironic. Ziggs was in my splash art. Uh, not splash art. Ziggs was in my thumbnail in yesterday's video. La Illusion Ziggs, driven mad by no longer remembering anything of who or what he was when he was alive. Oof, memory loss. Ziggs and his Idola Muerte family wandered the world sowing chaos. Whether it's lobbing our door to weaken a building, pylon, or lighting a destructive thought in someone's mind like a bushfire. There is no reason behind his madness, only whatever catches his cool blue eyes. Whoa, is that it? Okay, so let's. Oh. Okay, now we're just gonna do a quick reaction to this. I don't want to prolong you guys, so let's get into it. Okay, let's... this the models look good. Oh, look at that rope! Look at that, Zyra. She said, Zyra, hello, Zyra. Who's the legendary? It makes you wonder who is there a legendary here? Look at that barrier. I know that the quality is ugly. Because this is not YouTube. But you know. Look at that candle. Look at that oh look at that flower. You guys can if, if you guys can see it properly, look, there's candles on the side and flowers. Girl. Oh, Wasn't that amazing? Okay, we're looking at this now. Look at that guitar, and it has an effect too. There's some. There's a transition when it lands. That's so nice. A lot of candle references. Candle. It looks very smooth. Again, a lot of candles. Hey, flamenco! That's nice. Ziggs. Ziggs is bomb base. Oh, those are re these are really high quality effects. I know you guys can see it, but I can see it through the quality of the video. It's very nice. But the thing is, a lot of blue. I think Yana and a few characters are red. Oh, look at that. Is that like a grave box? A coffin. Why did I say grave box? Oh my god. 
Oh my gosh, she turns into a beautiful flower. Nico would have been actually good in the skin line. She fits that Day of the Dead style. Oh, look at that. Again, a rose. Look at that big rose. It's it's not it's not a circular ultimate for once, finally. Sometimes they don't really change the shape. But you know. Look at that design here. Whoa. They took a lot of inspiration from uh the Diaz de los Muertos style. Look at that. The flowers are good. The VFX are something I haven't seen in skins in a while. I've seen it in older skins, but they kind of amped it up in this one. Oh, look at the candles again. It's it's red. This it's it's a more orange tone. Okay, that's Nar. Nar is red. So there's two types of colorings: a blue side and a red side. Okay. I wonder if it has chromas. I'm not gonna react to. I'm not gonna react to this in detail in chromas. I'm so sorry. Um, if you want my reaction on that, I'll just probably post it on Twitter. I love chromas. This is very bright. Oh wow. Oh wow, he looks so good. I love, these are worth your money. Any type of transforming skins are worth your money. Because you have to add on to that model for that price. It's not gonna be expensive, just fixed. Look at that. The chromas are gonna look great. Is this an event? Are we gonna get an event pass? I don't know. Aww, look at little baby. Baby. Okay, Nidalee finally got a skin. Congratulations. How big is that? Okay, okay. okay. her healing has some effects. She has like a Soraka healing style. Usually she doesn't have much effects to show on her third skill, but there. Look at that, that's her animal skill. Rare. She kind of has a similar look to Nar. I think they're in the same size. Is this her grave? Is this her grave? Because she's dead. And she reincarnated. Oh, this is Kiana. Bro. Come through. Ooh. Is she legendary? Is this a legendary skin? Look at the oh my god. Look at the effects. I, I, the thing I look for in the skin is that smoothness. Smoothness. I, I only, the only skin I felt smooth is probably Star Guardian Senna. <coughs> <coughs> I choked. <coughs> Star Guardian Senna and um, Dark Cosmic Lux. I choked there. I am so sorry. Oh, see Flamenco. Wait, I have a doubt. I wonder if all these flowers, based on their coloring of the skin, will change by a chroma. See, guys, I'm in the chroma era. Okay, this is the, this is the Renata Prestige. Oh, okay, they finally add some green to a Prestige. We barely see that. Um, usually, the the coloring for Renata's skin is close to Seraphine's um, Ocean Song. It's a bit of this blue, but now it's a bit more this green. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's giving kind of like poison mist from Valorant from Viper. <clears throat> so yeah. Okay, the barrier is a, a bit better, thank goodness. Again, day by day, they're improving the barriers. Oh, look at the flowers. They're different. I'm getting... Oh. The coloring is so good. It fits the skin well. Again with that fucking Louis Vuitton logo ass. Oh wow. Wow, that was the skins. I know I reacted to them briefly because this video is 25 minutes. I don't want to go further. But yeah, what do you guys think of... Wow. <laughs> we, we did a lot of reacting today. Um, but what do you guys think of the skins? So these are coming first, the lore skins. Tomorrow, are you guys going to play lore now? Because I would. Um, we should. <laughs> and we talk about it. And um, this one is on the PBE right now. These uh, La Illusion skins. I wonder who's the legendary. My guess is Nyla. She needs she needs a legendary. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, like it. If you don't dislike it, you should make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the notification before I never upload a new video. I am a VTuber who does content, mostly on Riot Games, but I also do other games on the side when I feel like it. Uh, join my Discord. Link is in the description below. And donate to my PayPal. Link also in the description below. Considering I am not monetized yet, so any type of donation will do me great. To pursue my career 
of working in the video game industry. Ah, love that. Or Riot Games. <laughs> what else? Uh, follow me on Twitter at Dr. Curvy TV. Over here, over here, over here. And uh, Dr. Curvy underscore YT. And follow me on Twitch at Dr. Curvy TV. So yes, this was the video. Uh, I'm going to post it now, upload it now with no um, intro and background music. Tomorrow I'm posting Wild Drift Patch 4.3C. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.